this is a tough one. So, as I'm sure all of you know, 14th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. New York City, the Pentagon, Flight 93. It's hard to talk about. I was four, almost five, when the attacks occurred. To the beach with my family. My parents already knew. And then we were at lunch, my parents, my then almost two year old brother, and I, and someone mentioned it. I don't remember what he said, but I remember that's how I found out, and I was terrified. Actually, it was, I mean, everyone was terrified, yes, but I was four years old, I didn't, I didn't understand the concept of it, like, I was scared in the same way as everyone else, but little kids, irrational terror, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's kind of emotional. I didn't even lose anyone. It's emotional just the whole... The whole thing. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I've had the opportunity to go to the memorial in New York City three times. The first time I went, I went with my mom. We were up there to go to the, Muse the Metropolitan Museum of Art and um, made a stop at the memorial. It was before the museum opened. Um, just the memorial and that it it's overwhelming. So many names on those fountains. It's, it's heartbreaking, really. So, the second time I went was with my parents and my brothers. Um, one of them was, um, so one of them was almost two. The other one was born a year later, so he doesn't, of course, have any memory of it. The other one doesn't really either, but it's at the point. Um, that wasn't as overwhelming I'd been there before. The third time was a completely different experience. We'd been reading the submission in my um, senior English class last year, which is about the designing of the memorial and all of this. It's, it's a good book. I recommend it. And my English teacher asked, who's been to the memorial? And only like three of us in a class of 20 raised our hands. So the goes, okay, we're going. Well, I thought he was kidding at first. I mean, New York City, what? And then he had permission slips. Um, we spent that morning going to MoMA, to have modern art, because we couldn't do just the memorial. We needed something, and MoMA was a good counterpoint being the bizarre art museum that it is. Um, and then we went, we had tickets to the memorial and to the museum. It was the third time, my third time at the memorial, but my first time at the actual museum. And, oh my god, oh my god. They had stories, they had people, they had artifacts, things from the towers when they fell. It was, it was overwhelming.
brilliant trip. Great thing to take the senior class on. But it was it was overwhelming. I took some pictures, I'll stick them in at the end of the video. Mm, but just respect that goes with this whole thing. I don't care what you think about 9 11 conspiracy theories or whatever, and honestly, I don't want to know. Just let the dead rest in peace and that survivors survive and let the families let them mourn their lost the lost ones. Don't don't make this worse than it should have to be. And then I spent some time doing research on top down my own because why not? It's, it's our generation, it's my generation, it's Pearl Harbor. The way the world banded together in support of the United States. There's a really cool video of um, the Changing the Guard Buckingham Palace playing the Star Spangled Banner. You don't, they don't do that. It's a Changing the Guard Buckingham Palace. You don't play another country's national anthem, but it was September 12th, and the U.S. was devastated. We were so much just fall into pieces and show of support beautiful I really grew up in a post the world I mean I was born for the attacks like almost five when they happened but I was a kid I was still in preschool so a lot of my life's been shaped by this. Even in ways I wrote a paper on this once, but I can't remember all my all my ways. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So today I don't care what you believe, just for the day, put that aside. Just respect everyone involved. Respect other people in your country. Respect people who lost their lives. Respect the soldiers. But just please. Thank you. God bless America.